Hey guys, Remote Animation here, and we might have just found a way to achieve some level of realism without sacrificing performance or render time with Prisma 3D. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a mobile app for making 3D animation. But the thing is, they don't look very good, mostly because of the poor lighting system. And even if we add textures, it will still give us the amount of details we want. Except we find another way to do it. With a tool called Bump Maps, we can add in as much detail to surfaces as we want, which was the exact same way we managed to turn this disgusting scene into the slightly less disgusting scene, which for some reason I actually really like because of the little details lying around. And for those of you who are actually willing to try this without sitting through the whole tutorial, it's basically just a bunch of planes stacked up to give the illusion of depth. Now for my fellow noobs. First we need a texture to work with so we'll go over to Polyhaven to get a free texture to download. And I'm, and I'm not trying to teach you how to use the internet but you need to scroll to any texture of your choice. You'll need to download the displacement map in PNG format. And then you'll be greeted with this image which you're gonna download and import into a light motion. you need to make sure the aspect ratio is a 1 to 1 and the background is transparent. And when the project is open we can import in our texture image. This part is gonna get really confusing really quickly so I suggest you stop scrolling through the recommended videos. After selecting our objects, we're gonna click on add effects and select chroma key. And with that loads up, we're gonna get the option to select the key color and in this case, we're gonna select the darkest color in our scene. And then we're going to take the threshold value all the way down to zero. And then we'll keyframe that and take the timeline forward. And then we'll take the threshold value all the way up until all that's left is some bright patches. After that, we can finally expose the clip as an image sequence. After the export is complete, we now have a bunch of images that we can import into Prisma 3D. Using the share button where Prisma will be available as one of the options. Major inconvenience is that we're gonna have to import each of the image one after the other. And in order to get that depth effect, we're gonna have to make each of the planes appear higher than the other by a tiny value. And after that, we're going to make the transparency slightly below one. And then we're going to repeat this process for all the textures until we have all 11 planes imported in. And now we switch to night modes to make things look slightly better then put all the planes into one group and set up some lights and now we're all set and all that's left to do is to scale down the group and then the planes will appear to resemble an actual 3d mesh that makes use of only 11 squares and the beautiful thing about this technique is that you can actually play around with the reflection settings of each of the planes to get a pbr light material and if you experience some performance issues you can easily switch to the auto preview mode to get the best performance and zero lag while using this technique and you can try this with other textures and it will also work but i don't see myself doing this a lot in the near future so the fact that this feature could be improvised into the app means it wouldn't really be that difficult for the developers to implement